end of future drunk zamasu arc it was a fun and refreshing episode that brings us closer to the characters Probably up to episode 70, this in between the archetypes of episodes will continue as on 69 we have Goku vs Arale and on 70 we have a baseball match involving Champa. Significant stuff from episode 68, Goku summons Shenron with the hope of resurrecting King Kai, Bulma's boobs got bigger and Bulma is trying to make a time machine again, Gohan got his nerd look back again. Basically, Goku gathered the Dragon Balls to finally do right by King Kai after what happened in the Cell arc. Death doesn't bring too much of a change to King Kai, but he said earlier on that he gets mocked in the Kaio community for having the halo above his head. Also in this episode, he claims it feels different. Anyways, like I had predicted earlier on, in a comedic turn of events, Goku failed to wish him back to life, once again. I guess King Kai will have to wait a few more decades. As you know, contrary to the beginning of Dragon Ball, Shenron can now grant 3 wishes. One wish was used earlier on in U6 arc, so they had two in hand. Everyone appeared wanting to get their silly wishes granted. 18 wanted to know what Krillin wants, Roshi of course want young girls. Oolong, Pilaf also attempts to get their wishes granted but fails. But when Gohan appeared and wanted to heal Pan's sickness, which he was unable to cure using medicines for humans, no one opposed and that was the first and only wish. The most valuable takeaway from this episode was the segment with Bulma, where we see she is working to rebuild the time machine. This could be a hint that time traveling might happen again sometimes in the future and we might see more of future trunks. As we know, naturally, it took a long time for Bulma to build a time machine. It happens way into the future. So obviously she would have some complexities now. And a piece of blue crystal looking mineral type of something was missing. Bulma figured it can be solved easily with the help of Shenron. But she was doing the project secretly as it is illegal and can piss off Beerus and Whis. Unfortunately, Beerus and Whis appeared to eat delicious foods. Anyways, while they were busy, Bulma wanted to get the missing using Shenron. She started granting others wish to clear her path. She emotionally persuaded 18 and gave her money to knock out Oolong. She gave Roshi a car full of hot prostitutes. Mom hires horse for her old pervert in front of her son? That's something that can get a moment of thinking. But resurrecting King Kai is beyond Bulma's powers, so she asks Goku to bring that blue crystal instead, while forcing Shenron dropping Beerus's name. But Beerus finds out Goku and gets hold of the material. He figures out it's for the time machine and breaks it into pieces while threatening Bulma to not do it again. As we know, Shenron grants a wish in a very limited amount of time. He generally doesn't stay that long and only forced himself to do so in fear or respect of Beerus. However, just before Goku could wish to resurrect King Kai, he couldn't hold anymore and disappeared. So this confirms that Shenron has a time limit and can't go beyond that. I really like the homage to Dragon Ball, they showed the first ever wish that was made by Oolong. Dragon Ball Super have been showing Dragon Ball flashbacks from time to time, most of which are reanimated and I appreciate that very much. Toei should start planning to reanimate Dragon Ball as with the release of DBS, a new generation of DB fans is being created. They would want to know the earlier stories and the origin and they would not really like the animation of the 80s or 90s, you know? Anyways, if they do decide to do Dragon Ball again, I hope they will not cut it short like they did in DBZ Kai. I want the exact same thing. The same amount of episodes, just with new technologies with high quality animation. Next episode will feature Goku vs Arale. There might be a time skip and some interesting stuff, I'll talk about that in my episode 69 preview breakdown. 
If you don't want to miss that, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I hope Dragon Ball Super will keep getting better and most importantly, Bulma will get hotter. Make sure you like our Facebook page Dragon Ball Fans. Comment your opinion 